Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. It's not as quite as big as last week but the boot sale I went to was about half the size. The weather is dry but it wasn't as boiling hot as it was last week so not as many people turned up. And I did end up going to the other one that's around me that's usually full of traders. I did get a couple of bits from there. It's the first time I've ever picked up anything from there. So I will show you what I got. I've done a bit of research on some of the stuff. Um, I haven't fully researched it yet, but I will tell you what I found out. So, uh, what did I buy first? The first thing I bought were these Winnie the Pooh Disney magnets. They look official. There was a lady who had quite a few of them. She was selling for 10p each. So I thought, well, for 10p each, they'll go large letter, multi-listing. I can't really go wrong with that. So I bought them. Um, next in the box, we have uh, this little guy. He was on the same stall. Um, I've got this one. He comes out every Christmas. Um, he was a pound. So I thought I'd grab him just because I couldn't leave him there. <laughs> I'll quickly show you what else is in this box. So I picked up a Little Britain Series 1 and 2, that was a pound. Um, I picked up a Sylvanian Families DVD. I've no idea whether that's worth anything. It was a pound, so a bit expensive, but I'll do a bit of research on it and see if it was. Some of these old kids' DVDs are worth money sometimes. The rest of these DVDs are on another stall. Um, quite a lot of them are Barbie and some Bing and the Sea Old Hobbit. These are all 20p each, so I just grabbed what I could just to make bundles. So I'll just sell a bundle of Barbie DVDs. Um, they'll sell more, from, no more than what I've paid for those. Um, there was a couple of bits from another stall. I brought these two and this Thunderbirds puzzle. There were 50p for all of those. There was a guy who I have seen every single um, car boot and he's usually buying but he was selling this time and he was very obviously another reseller. <laughs> there were two 8080 legs just in a box. He knew what he was talking about with everything so I, I think he is a, some sort of trader slash reseller. These were £2 each. Again if it was a normal seller you wouldn't be paying £2 each for these. Um, I could probably get about 10 to 15 to sell those two. He also had a complete low grade figure, which was eight pounds. And I was like, no, it, that's one of the vintage Star Wars figures that doesn't sell for much. And there was another store selling these two Star Wars mugs. They look new in the box. The box is a little dirty, but I'll give them a clean. Uh, these were three pound each. I offered the lady five for the both and she took it. So that's fine on those. A couple of games. These were a pound each. They look new. I don't think that one's even been opened. Um, so I thought for um, some card games, yeah, pound each on those. Uh, she also had these four Mr. Men mugs. These I think these are from McDonald's. I don't know if there's any value in them, but she offered me a pound for all four, so I took it. Found another paperweight. <laughs> this one caught my eye, it was very pretty. Um, it was two pounds, so I picked that up. Uh, I haven't researched this yet. This was 50p, a boxed chip mug, Disney Princess chip mug. I'm not sure how much that will go for, but for 50 pence, it's going to be worth more than that. Next, I have another puzzle. This was £2 from the same store as the Mr. Men cups. Um, it has uh, been checked, she said, and it is complete. So I took her for a word and picked that up. I don't know how much that is worth. Next, I picked these up. These are Builder Bears. I got these from a couple of stalls. Um, these were £2 each. Uh, just a plain pink bear and a bunny. And this was a pound. It's a Disney Princess one. The crown's a little played with, I think. But for a pound, I picked that up. Uh, this one's probably worth get about £10. These may be a little less. Um, because they haven't got any clothes, but I have bought a bundle of clothes on eBay, so I might be able to bundle them together with some clothes, we'll see. Thunderbird's puzzle, I've already been through that, that was 50p with those Duplo bits. Uh, Monopoly Simpsons, uh, the guy did confess it wasn't complete, I did have a quick look, there are some of the figures in it, so for a pound I picked it up, just for spares to sell on as spares. This thing at the back is at Micro Machines, I've never seen this before. So I picked it up. It was very expensive. It was £20. I did have a look inside. It looks like it's complete. It's got some of the figures with it. So fingers crossed it is complete. The guy was a Star Wars collector. 
who was selling it so I took him at his word that it was complete it doesn't look like it's been played with much either and as I said I've never seen this set before I've only seen the smaller sets so I picked that up don't know what I'll do with it um, probably bundle it I've got plenty of micro machines as you probably know if you watch my channel so I'll probably bundle some more pod racers with it and hopefully get about between 30 and 40 for it Next, this, this was from the same guy who was selling the 8080 legs, so again, I probably overpaid on this. It is new by the look of it, um, and it was £4, and it goes for about between 15 and 20 new, so it's not too bad. Basically, I picked up this and this Sylvanian family's bakery and these figures. I literally had all these together and I said how much for these and he said uh, £4 for that and £8 for the Sylvanian families and I was like, uh, it's quite expensive but by that point I felt like I was obliged to buy them so I did, when I picked up the 8080 legs and the Ewok I basically offered £20 for all of it and he was having none of it um, so I ended up paying £16 for the Sylvanian families, the Lego and the 2880 legs. Completed items on eBay but here miss with the bakery. It depends how many bits are with it. I did have a look in the box and there are some little bits in there. I, I don't think it's complete personally looking at it but it did come with some of the figures. There's not a lot in there but it will probably make a nice bundle. Probably around £20 maybe, 25 with the figures. Um, and then in the second car boot I went to, I found this Sylvanian family's house. It's empty. And that was £2, which is much more reasonable. Um, I don't think these really sell for a great deal, but if you bundle together some figures with it and some furniture, it goes for a lot more. So I'll put it to one side and maybe either bundle it with a bakery or if I find some other figures, I'll bundle it with them. But yeah, I do want to try and pick up Sylvanian family stuff. It does sell really well, especially the more vintage stuff. And you do occasionally see it at the car boot. This was the first week I saw people selling it. Yeah, I will do keep my eye out for Sylvanian families. But I don't think I did too badly. The car boot was about half the size it was last week with the weather. So yeah, considering that, I think I did quite well. I spent uh, £62.90 this week. I don't know how much profit I'll be getting on all this because I haven't researched it all yet. But I'm hoping at least 150 uh, maybe 200 at a big push, but maybe 150 So yeah, not a huge week this week, but keep on it. Every week I go to the charity shops as well. And yeah, I just, I just love going to car boot sales. I used to do it as a kid every week. And um, it's nice to start doing it again, it's finding people's treasure. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to my channel, see my future videos, and I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.